Okay, hey, um, this vlog is starting off on a very sour note. Okay, so if you saw my vlog before last, because this is Vlogmas Day 8, um, I was taking y'all through, like, me taking my final exams and, you know, whatever, and so I took my final exam, I passed it, I made a B, I was like, okay, fine, great, awesome, because in my nursing school, you just have to maintain a 75% average on all of your tests to pass the class right and then you have to have a 75 for the class like as your overall grade like not just the exam grade but like your overall grade also has to be a 75 so we take these things in nursing school called ATI and like the ATI proctored assessments are basically like okay let's say you have a class about um like kids so like pediatrics and like the whole semester you learn about pediatrics but like not really the whole semester it's usually like four or five weeks okay then you'll take a comprehensive exam of everything that you should have learned in pediatrics right now you take it about like the five or six week mark so of course like you don't know everything so it feels like you're at an unfair advantage because you don't know everything but it's just to practice and so then you do like remediation which is like practice templates where like you have to write everything out and you have to like do it for two hours and you know whatever you submit that you upload it you get two points okay then you have to retake it and this is like the real one that's like two to three weeks after which again you still haven't learned everything and so you take that and you can get a level below level one level one level two level three level two is like what you need to like for you to show ATI that like you know a little bit more than the bare minimum right which is like what most nursing schools like want you to have a level one means that you know the bare minimum which I feel like is okay right um, so the first time that I took mine for adult health, I made a level one and I failed it by, I think like one or two points. So obviously devastated, but it's fine because you get to do a retake. So I had to do remediation for where I failed it by like one to two points and I had to like write all the stuff out, whatever, submitted everything. I look like two, three weeks ago and my professor gave me a zero. Y'all, I had like 36 remediation templates that I had to write out by hand, 36 remediation templates and I didn't realize that your remediation time had to be three hours instead of two hours. So I only did like two hours and some change. And so she gave me a zero, which rightfully so, you know, whatever, but I didn't think that it was gonna drop my grade as much as it did. It dropped my grade catastrophically. And so when I was all happy and I thought everything was great and everything was cool, like I was done with the semester, this was creeping in. So now I'm at the position where I have to make a level two on my ATI on Friday. Now, the level two score for an ATI is the high for a med surge is the highest out of any of the other ATI proctored exams. It is a 68.9. Now, a 68, I'm thinking, I can make a D. I can I can make a D and pass. And ATI is very good about like resources so they have like practice proctored examinations and they have like different quizzes for like each um like for each section that you learn like GI and neuro and like eyes and ears and cardiac like they have like different practice quizzes for that but like the stress that I'm feeling because y'all I am so active on social media and I'm so public about my nursing journey and I I feel like people in my cohort think that I'm smart and I, I also feel like I'm smart. So for me, somebody who studies as much as I do, tries as hard as I do to make, to have to retake med surge because I missed a few minutes off of the remediation template is absolutely outrageous. Now had she gave me those two points for my remediation, I wouldn't be in this position. I could go in there and make whatever I wanted on the ATI and it would have been fine and it wouldn't have affected my grade. But since I got no points for that, now I'm scrambling. Because ATI, like what you make on ATI is 10% of your grade. So right now I have two points from taking the practice, two points from doing like that first set of remediation, zero points from doing the second remediation. So now my grade for ATI is a 40 out of 10. So 10% of my final grade is a 40. So if I make a level two on the ATI, which I'm praying to God that I do, that's an extra three points. So that's a 70 out of 10, which is better, which is exactly what I need. And that'll put me like right at a 75, I think. So right now I'm just under a lot of pressure and a lot of stress because I feel like if I fail, that I am a failure. 
Um, and I also really, really, ugh, this makes me so upset. I, well first I already started nursing school really late because I was pre-med by over two and a half years, changed my major, decided that I wanted to do nursing. So I'm already older than the people in my cohort, right? So I'm 23, by the way. Um, I just turned 23, but oh, y'all literally just saw the vlog. I didn't have to say that. Anyway, um, so I'm already older than them. So like to be held back even more is like embarrassing for me and I know that when the time comes I'm gonna be an amazing nurse and it's gonna mean it's gonna mean so much to me because like my heart is in nursing like this is what I want to do like there's there's no greater joy that I get than from seeing my patients like happy and healthy and I work in labor and delivery so it's like it's the best day of your life you feel and like I, there is no greater joy than like me helping my patients you know so I know that this degree oh my god is it's a hard fought one and I just want to do my best and I feel like if for some reason I don't pass my mom is going to be so disappointed in me and my mom has never once in her life been disappointed about anything that I've ever done my mom has always been so proud of me for everything She's always so proud of me so freaking supportive of anything that I've ever done anything I've ever wanted to do but like I just do not want to disappoint her at all I don't ever want to give her a reason to to be disappointed in me so I just feel like I have to try so hard I have to try so hard and I know that I'm capable I know that I can do this I just have to calm down and I have to relax and I have to take this test and everything will work in, in the exact way that it's supposed to I don't have to be perfect there's 90 questions but I think only 80 of them are graded which is more than my exam was so I have more room for error a wider a way wider margin for error so I can do it I just have to believe in myself and I have to trust myself and like at first I wasn't gonna say anything about the situation because like it's embarrassing that I'm in this position but um I always want to make sure that like I'm being very authentic and very real and like not portraying something that's not true on social media because there's literally enough of that um so yeah I just wanted to update y'all on what's going on and I'm gonna take y'all with me for studying I do have work tonight but I'm gonna study all night tonight at work and um one of my my nurse like my regular nurse her preceptor is like graduating from orientation graduating she's finishing orientation like this is her last line of orientation and so we're going to breakfast in the morning and then napoleon's pinning is tomorrow afternoon so i'm just going to be studying at some point throughout the day um which i really don't know how that's going to work because i have to sleep um i'm thinking like maybe i'll get off work in the morning go out to eat with them and then come home, take JoJo out, sleep for a little while, get up and go to Napoleon's painting, which is at like 3, and then come home and then study all night. Which I feel like I'll get the majority of my studying done tonight at work. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so yeah, look at JoJo. He's like, Mom, literally, why are you crying? What's going on? Hi, Boonie. Um... But yeah, so I think I can do it. I just have to believe in myself. And I did like very minimal studying last time when I only missed it by one or two points. So I think with good studying that I can I can be successful. But I just wanted to bring y'all along on this journey because this is this is nursing school. Like this is the reality of nursing school. It is hard, it is rough, it makes you doubt yourself, it gives you anxiety. It's just really hard. And I just pray that the end of this video has um, a positive outcome. So I'm going to go shower because I just, I need to, showers just make me feel better. So, um, I will probably update y'all in the morning and give y'all kind of like an update on how I'm feeling after like 12 hours of study. So bye. I love you so much. Thank y'all for being here and thank y'all for being my little, my little, my little therapist. Um, so yeah, bye. Okay. So good morning y'all. So sorry, like a uh, ragamuffin by the top of my head, but I just got off my 12 hour night shift and it was like pretty slow, which I can say that now cause I'm off. Um, but it was pretty slow. So I studied the entire time. 
study the entire time I think I maybe did like 300 ish questions and then like for anything that I just didn't know off the top of my head or like I just needed to remember needed to refresh myself on something that I'm just always a little fuzzy on or something that gives me anxiety if I see it in the question like total hip I don't know how to say this word orthoplasty okay that word used to freak me the freak out whenever I saw it in a test question I'm like really and truly I don't know what that means y'all I looked it up today it's a hip replacement it's literally a hip replacement y'all bffr bffr um so yeah i was writing stuff down like that and i was also like categorizing it um and i'll show y'all later so you can see what i'm talking about but i did like neuro um endocrine um renal cardiac telemetry hematology and like all the areas that i was fuzzy on like all the questions where i was fuzzy on the information i wrote it down in that section and then when i go home i'm gonna read it out loud to myself because this information is gonna stick whether it wants to or not it's gonna stick so then I started doing like practice questions where I could only see my answers at the very end because like that mimics the test so I feel like if I start doing practice quizzes like that it'll help with my anxiety because when I get to the test I'm like okay well like I'm used to not seeing what I made until the very end you know what I mean so I took the first one and I made an 80. I was like, okay. Took another one. I think I made like two 70s, which mind y'all, I have to make a 70 in order to pass. Or really like a 69.8, but 70. Um, and then I was like, okay, I'm going to take one more. I'm going to take one more. Made a 90. Made a freaking 90 on the practice test. So I'm really excited um, because I feel like I've done so many practice questions to the point where I understand the kinds of questions they ask and I'm starting to understand how they want you to answer them. And a lot of the questions that I was getting wrong, it's not that the answer was wrong, it's just that it wasn't the most correct answer. Like I remember seeing the rationales back from one of my answers and it was like, yes, the answer that you picked like does cause this disease, but there's another one that we want you to pick. I think it was like um, the leading one, like one of the leading risk factors for breast cancer. And so I clicked birth control, and they were like, mm, "Yes, but mm, there's another one." And like all of the answer choices ended up being like risk factors for breast cancer. You know what I mean? Nursing school. That that's. Oh my god! I literally have to take my birth control. Wait, 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 wait! I don't want to be pregnant. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't want to be pregnant. Wait, y'all, be for real. Oh my god, I y'all, I literally, if y'all saw my vlog, I still have that movie theater gift card. It has like $50 on it. Anyway, don't want to be pregnant. Am I gonna have to dry swallow? Oh my god. Mm. <laughs> that wasn't that bad. Anyway, what were we talking about? Yeah, mm -hmm, yeah. Um, it's still in my throat. Oh, move down. Anyway, um, yeah. So I'm feeling better. Um, today is gonna be a really busy day because I have. Well, let me not even get into that. But anyway, yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about it. Um, y'all just pray for me. Keep hearing it keep me in your thoughts again take a shot every time i mess up a word um so yeah i will reconvene with y'all after i wake up from my nap and we get back to studying bye Liz. okay so it is now let's see what time it is it is 3 23 supposed to be at napoleon's pinning at four um like i said earlier she said like jeans and a t-shirt is fine so i think i'll just wear some jeans and then my black lululemon jacket and i think we'll call it a day um on that i woke up with so much anxiety today um so that's not eh, not the best um i don't know i just have like a really sinking pity like sinking pitting feeling in my stomach um that i really need to go away um but 24 hours from now i will know whether or not i passed my test and everything will just go the exact way that it's supposed to go all i can do is study and like I was saying earlier, like before I came home, is that I've done so many practice questions to the point where I feel like I kind of know the kind of questions that they're going to ask and I kind of know the way that they want you to answer their questions. So I'm just, I'm trying to give myself more credit because I know that I'm studying. I know that I'm putting in the work. I just have to go in there and just show them like, 
hey, I did 600 practice questions. Like, there's nothing you can throw at me right now that I don't already know or can't already figure out from the answer choices. So I need to give myself some more credit on that front. Um, I also am going to go through my entire, like, pre-exam ritual, which entails, like, um, going out and getting my favorite food, coming home, um, taking a bath in the tub, doing Quizlet in the tub of, like, whatever my test is on, and then reading, and then getting out, and then having Justin also quiz me. Every single time I have done this, it has been favorable. There have only been two times it well, since I've been in nursing school that I have missed out on the pre-exam ritual, and those are the only two times that I have failed a test in nursing school. The only two times. I don't know what it is. I don't know why it's so important, but I will not question, and I am going to do the exam ritual. Part of me feels bad because I know that Napoleon and her sister and her mom are here, and I feel like they're going to want to go out to like lunch or dinner or something, but... I have to come back home and study. I have to. I have to, I have to, I have to. And Napoleon's still gonna be here um, for a little while. I don't know if she's gonna be here when I come back from Seattle. I doubt it. Um, but she doesn't, like, her home base isn't too super far from where we are right now. So hopefully we'll still, like, be able to see each other and grab some lunch um, or dinner or drinks or whatever. Um, but yeah, so right now I'm gonna go ahead and get up. And I'm gonna get dressed for Napoleon's pinning. And yeah, I'm excited. Okay, so this is the last question. I ended up doing 49 questions because that's all I had left. So let's see what I made. <gasps> You're literally kidding. Okay, that's not bad. Jojo is quite upset because I just woke him up. But like, you in my bed, so I feel like it's okay, Pookie. Anyway, so I just finished taking a few practice quizzes. I think I did like three or four, um, but I made A's and B's on most of them. The lowest grade that I made was an 85, so not too bad. Um, I'm feeling better. Taking practice quizzes, practice quizzes does help to relieve a lot of the anxiety that I'm feeling because it just kind of helps me remember that I do know this information. Um, and as long as I believe in myself, I can do it. I just have to literally believe in myself and not think about anything else except for going in and taking this test, not going in thinking like, oh my gosh, I need to pass this test or I failed this semester, I'm going to have to repeat, it's going to be so embarrassing. No, none of those stipulations. I'm going to start telling myself that like, I'm just going in here so that they can see what I know. Just a basic, you know, benchmark, you know, whatever. I'm just taking this test so that they can see what I know and I'm going to tell myself that everybody has to take this which a lot of people do have to take it but I'm just going to tell myself that everybody has to take it it is going to be totally and completely fine and then after this life is about to get so freaking good because I'm going to go graduation shopping I'm going to pack for Seattle um, I think my Lululemon package is here Jojo's going to daycare Napoleon and Justin's graduate Go to sleep, go to sleep. Um, yeah, JoJo's going to the D word. And then Napoleon and Justin's graduation. Um, and then I work for like th three days, I think. And then I'm off to Seattle. And then life is going to be even freaking better. So, I just have to make it over this little bitty, tiny, minuscule speck on my greater timeline. And it is going to be fine. It is literally going to be fine. I did over, I'm, I'm pretty sure I've done like over a thousand practice questions. The last time I took this test, I failed it by, I think I failed it by like a point. With very minimal basal studying. I've done almost a thousand practice questions. Are you kidding me? I should do so much better. Definitely pass it with the, I think it's a 68.9 is what I have to make. And there's a total of, there's 90 questions on the test, but like only 80 are graded. So I really think I can do well. I just need to take my time, read the whole question, don't anxiety read through the question, and just go in there and show them that I know what I'm talking about. I have studied enough to know what I'm talking about. And this is just showing them that. It's not a big deal. It is not a big deal at all. And I'm going to be fine. So yeah, I'm going to put Jojo in his crate. He's not gonna be looking forward to that. 
um and then i'm gonna take some melatonin i'm gonna get on tiktok and laugh and ha ha he he for a second and then i'm gonna go to sleep because it's like three o'clock in the morning which is not good my test is at 10 but i'm gonna wake up at eight just so that i can get you know studying and like giving myself up to get ready to go but um i think we're done for the night um but i just wanted to say i love you and thank you all so much for watching this video and supporting me your supportive comments really do go a long way so i really do appreciate all of it and yeah i love you good night okay i'm really sorry for that noise it's like a street sweeper but it's like on but it's not moving anyway um i just got to the nursing building um before i got in the car today my mom called me and she was just telling me like you're gonna do great you're gonna pass you can't do any better than your best and like it's gonna be fine just call me when it's done it's like okay um and that made me like a little bit teary-eyed but i didn't cry um now i'm at my test um and i feel like at this point i know what i know and i feel like i have seen nearly a thousand practice questions in the past three days and i feel like there is nothing that can be on this test that I have not seen, that I have not written down, and that I do not already understand. There is nothing they can show me that I don't know. So I'm gonna go in here and I'm going to do my absolute best because I'm smart and I'm capable and I'm knowledgeable and I can do hard things and I can overcome hard things. This is just, again, a blip on my timeline. Everything is gonna be okay everything is going to work out the exact way that it needs to work out i'm going to pass life is going to be good and then after this life is just going to be so freaking amazing but i have to go in here and i have to take my time and i have to do my best and i have to read through all the question read through all the answer choices and pick based off the knowledge that i already know so it's going to be great i'm going to throw on my headphones i'm going to listen to motley crew by post malone because that's like my pre-exam song um, and we're going to go in here and it's going to be great and it's going to be amazing. Thank y'all again for being here and I'll update y'all when I'm done with the test. I love you. Oh my gosh, it's Rebecca. I love her. Wait. Okay. Hey y'all. Sorry. This lighting is like really bad. Anyway, so I just finished my test. It ended up being a hundred questions instead of 90 questions. Um, I don't know like how many questions were like not counted because I know like at least 10 are not counted if you're doing like the 90 question. Anyway, I passed. I made, I needed a 68 point nine and I made like a 75 point something by the time I got to question 60 mostly everybody was done except for like one other person so everybody kept turning around because I was in the very back so everybody kept turning around like trying to find the person who like was still holding everybody up and surprise it was me and I felt really bad about that um so then I started like rushing through the last like 30 40 questions um so yeah I ended up making a 75 felt pretty good I just sat here and I calculated my grade I'm pretty sure ATI is out of 10 points yeah ATI is out of 10 points because like the proctor assessment is out of eight and then you get two points for doing the um like remediation so if I calculated my grade correctly I should end the class with an 80.52 so yeah I'm pretty sure I'm officially done with this class, but I'm not going to feel like the weight lifted off of me completely up until like she releases final grades, but I pretty much passed. Like I'm not going to let my anxiety eat away at me that freaking bad. Um, so yeah, I passed my third semester of nursing school by the skin of my freaking teeth. This was crazy. This was probably like the most anxiety I've ever felt about anything in my entire life. And it was terrible and it was awful. And I do not like the person that nursing school makes me into when it's like test time. So I'm glad that that's over. I'm going to go home. When I go home, I have to go take a drug test for nursing school. Because <laughs> we have to like redo our castle branch. If you're in nursing school, you know what castle branch is and you know how sensitive it is. So all of our castle branch stuff is due by the 15th, which is next week. And I go home on Tuesday. So it really needs to be done by this week. So I still need to do my background check. Um, and yeah, I have to go take my drug test right now. I should have brought some water because I don't really have to pee um but yeah so i'm gonna go do that and then i'll be dress shopping but we're gonna cut this video off here and we're gonna start another vlogmas so yeah i'll see y'all tomorrow i love you